Look what they say. Look what they, look what they say, yeah. So after two years in Syracuse, he transferred to Fairmont State for the 2021 season where he played for another two years. Now, this is where it all gets tricky. Why do you think he had to leave Syracuse? <laughs> this is what I told y'all earlier, y'all. Niggas don't just transfer to Fairmont State. Do you, do you hear what, what he just what they saying to y'all? They want you to believe after two years at Syracuse, he just decided to transfer to Fairmont State. He didn't just decide to transfer. That's not what happened. They not giving you the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. He didn't decide to transfer. Your boy got kicked out of school for drugs, and he also snitched on the other few people. But guess what? Because he was the good old white boy, because he was the good old white boy, they allowed him to transfer because he was snitching. He snitched on all the people selling drugs in, on Syracuse campus. It was a big uh, drug thing going on at Syracuse University, y'all. Huh? And Brendan Paul was in the middle of it. Brendan Paul been a, 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 a confidential informant since college. Since college, y'all. Huh? Since Brendan Paul was in college at Syracuse, he was a confidential informant. The two years that he was on the campus selling cocaine, working with all the basketball players doing drugs, allegedly. Because I'm pretty sure he was doing them too. He decided to take it upon himself to help put a few people out of school. A lot of people got kicked out of school. He actually almost destroyed Syracuse basketball program. And to keep it quiet, because we know how these universities do. We know how these universities do. What's, what's the main thing they want to do? Keep it quiet. The last thing we want everybody to know is that be fearful to send your kids to my school because we have drugs on campus. We have drug mules on campus. So they have to be very cautious of sending somebody or what type of information that they release. So what they did was they kicked the kids off that got caught with the drugs. They got kicked out of school. And Brendan Paul, the person who they use allegedly as an informant, he got to transfer scot-free to Fairmont State. The, the drug mule got to transfer to Fairmont State. While everybody else that got caught got kicked out. They didn't get to go to another college. They wasn't, they wasn't privileged to, to be Caucasian, have a little money, went to a private school, and revamp their career. So I'm giving you the real facts on who Brendan Paul really is. Brendan Paul, it ain't this ain't no mysterious uh thing, coincidence that Brendan Paul is with P. Diddy, y'all. You understand what I'm telling y'all? This is not no coincidence. That Brendan Paul is with Sean Combs. This ain't no coincidence. He was sent to get that nigga. He was sent to get him. This ain't no coincidence. None at all. After his college playing career ended, he re re reportedly became an amateur group music producer. Huh. The Pay attention, y'all. Don't this say, don't this say, plan. We talk about it all the time, what an industry plan is, right? We talk about it all the time, what an industry plan is. Don't this say industry plan all over it? Pay attention, y'all. Don't this say industry plan all over after his college playing career ended, he reportedly became an amateur music producer. So you you so you want me to believe? So you want me to believe Brendan Paul went from an amateur music producer to getting on private jets with P Diddy in less than two years? <laughs> <laughs> Do 
So you want me to believe that Brendan Paul went from being an amateur, an amateur music producer to hanging on private jets with P. Diddy in two years and 24 months. And he's not an industry plant. <laughs> and he's not an industry plant. Make it make sense, y'all. After his college playing career, he ended up reportedly became an amateur music producer, according to the New York Post. So it only took him two years from the time he graduated. Listen, he just graduated in 2022. He just graduated in 2022. 2024 just started. So it ain't even been 24 months. It's really only been like 16 months. So you telling me in a 16, 8, 17 month span that he was able to be an amateur producer and start flying on, on planes with your boy, Sean Combs. That says industry plan. Everything about that say industry plan. These industry niggas is just so stupid that they can't see it. 